All right. Lesson six today. We've got lesson six for today. Lesson six, let's all turn to page 23. And we are reading and writing decimal numbers today. We're adding and subtracting decimal numbers, and then we're going to round decimal numbers. So the theme today, decimal numbers. Okay, so we have already talked about, if you've got the six, one, five, where is that assumed decimal, Destiny? Behind the five. Behind the five, okay? So if it's not there, we always assume it's at the very, very end, right? Excuse me. But we don't always have to write it. Okay? Both of those are acceptable, right? I get everybody's eyes on lesson six, please follow along with us. All right? So these both mean the same thing, all right? So, Jamika, will you read us that first full paragraph? Starts with some numbers have digits. <clears throat> some numbers have digits to the right of the decimal point. When often we often call these numbers decimal numbers. Some people call these numbers decimal fractions because they can be written as whole numbers divided by ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, or some other multiple of ten, as shown here. Good. So sixty-one point two three. Another way to write that is 61, 23 over 100, because when we divide that by 100, it becomes 61.23, all right? We're going to just refer to them as decimal numbers, not parts of fractions or anything like that, so this will always be acceptable, okay? All right, all right. All right, the first place to the right of the decimal fraction is the tenths place. So we're going to start having that at the end. And you sound kind of silly as you say it, right? And you look kind of silly as you say it. But that's how we're going to change it. So we've lost one little place, right? Somebody count these spots for me. Porsche, what's this place called? You know this one. What's it called? Units. Units or what's the other word we give it? Ones. Ones. Good. This next place? Ones. Tens. And then? Careful. I mean, tens. Good. Hundreds. I knew you knew it. All right. So when we go to the right of the decimal, as we start working this way, all right, we lose that ones place, right? You guys know right after the decimal, especially if we're talking about money, if I had 0.1, you know 0.1 is how many cents, Damon? If I told you I had 0.1 cents, how many cents is that? One. How many cents? One. Careful. How many cents? You would normally see it written like that. How many cents? How many cents is that? Ten cents, right? So the tenths place. Okay? So ten cents, the tenths place. So point one is the tenths place. And then it starts to count the same. So after tens, this way, what do we have? Porsche, tell me again. After tens, we have hundreds. hundreds. So when we add another decimal, we get to hundredths. Okay, we put that little th on the end. So we went from ones, tens, and hundredths. Skip the ones on the other side of the decimal. We've got tenths and hundredths. Okay, and then they just start to count exactly the same way as they did on the other side of the decimal. Okay, question on that, Damon? No. Alright, so in that paragraph, the first place to the right of the decimal in a fraction is the tenths place, we just talked about, which has the place value of 1 over 10. Okay, so if we know that this is 1 over 10, what do we think this one might be? Come on. Hundredths. So, 1 over what? If this one's 1 over 10, 1 over 100. Good, perfect. So, 1 over 100. Alright, so this place, hundredths, signifies 1 over 100. Okay? Followed by the thousands and then the ten thousands and so on. Okay? So if we have an example of point zero 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 six seven two four, right? The the six here, okay, has a value of what? Porsche, what's our six have a value of here? I know, I'm calling on you. <laughs> what does this 6 have a value of? Okay, so we said this 1 right here mm -hmm. is 1 over 10. 
this 2 is 2 over 100. What is this 6? 6. Good. 6 over 1,000. Beautiful. 6 over, oh, careful. If this is 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. So it gets an extra zero because of the missing of the ones digit after the decimal, right? We've never had that. We'll never get it. That's how they decided to set up the math, just to confuse us, right? All right. So the six has a one over 10,000 value, okay? Six ten thousandths. It's in the ten thousandths place, so that's what it means, okay? And when a whole number does not precede the decimal, like we have here, so when we don't have anything but a zero, over here, all right, a zero is placed before the decimal point. So when we write our decimals, we're going to write zero point our decimal, okay? All right. We've gotten to our chart there, if everyone can take a look at their chart. All right, this will be helpful for you for the first couple days, and then we got to memorize it. I don't want you to always have to turn back to this, but if you need to practice turning back, that's fine for now, okay? So let's review. We've got our decimal, and to the left of the decimal, I think you guys are good, but to the right of the decimal. Damon, give me the first place to the right of the decimal. Two. Tenths. Then what, Jamika? Hundreds. Good. Then Destiny? Thousands. Good. Then Porsche? Huh? After Thousands. thousands, we've got? We've got ten thousand. Good. Ten thousandths. Make sure you emphasize with your tongue that okay. at the end, okay? And then after 10,000, Staman, what do we have? 3,000. Then, Jamika? Millionths. Millionths. Good. And 10 millionths, and 100 millionths, and then billionths, and so on. Okay? We counted up the same, or counted down, the same way we counted it up. Minus that one little missing one spot. Okay? So, I think you guys got that. So, at the very bottom of our page, we're talking about reading a decimal number. Okay, you guys already know our keyword for that little point is what? What's our keyword? Destiny, do you remember? And I hear it. All right, so there's our and. So that's the first thing. All right, we begin on the left hand end. So we'll start over here and work our way to the right. Okay? So you guys know how to name the number before the decimal. That's going to stay exactly the same. And then we're going to add, add an and. Okay? So we read the digits to the left left, put in our and, and then number three, at the very bottom of page 23, all eyes there please, read the digits to the right of the decimal point as if they formed a whole number, then name the place value of the last digit in the number, okay? So that might get a little tricky, but I know you guys can do it, so we're going to practice a couple of these before we get to the books practice. All right, I need somebody to name me this number here. Okay, let's work together. If we don't understand it quite at first, okay, so we have no number in front, so we just get to leave it alone. You don't even have to put the and, because it's not a number and something, okay? So we can just start with our number, and it tells us to name our number as if it were whole, okay, and then name that last place value. Or the last one. Okay, so the very last digit that you see is the last place that you'll look at. Okay? So I'll do this example and then I'll give you guys each your own. So here, the, the digits that we're looking at, all the whole digits, are 6, 7, 2, 4. Okay? So again, I like my commas. So if you want to break the number down, see what you got. So what we're going to name this number here is 6,724. And then we need to count our place values. So we've got tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousands, hundredths, thousands, millionths, 10 millionths. So we've got 6,724 10 millionths. Okay? Make sense? All right, let's all flip our page. All right, when we write out the decimal part of a number with words, we place the commas in the same place that we would have put them with our numbers. So like that, the only thing we're doing is adding that place value name to the end of our words. Okay? So we've got Excuse me, 0.413 is the number, and we read that as 413 thousandths. Okay, we count our places, we end on thousandths. Okay?
Okay, we've got 0 0.041301. So we have five numbers, okay, that would make up the whole. You can whack off any zeros at the front and the end, but any zeros in the middle are very important, right? You guys learned that when naming whole numbers, okay? So in this case, we've got 0 0.041301. Damon, will you read us what that number will, will say, We're written out in words? The second one, point oh four one three oh one. Right around mm -hmm. forty one thousand three hundred one million. Okay, so forty one thousand three hundred one millionths. You see that four one three oh one, that's the number we have to name. Forty one thousand three hundred one millionths. Okay, so that underlined word at the end is the number that you're or the word you're tacking on to show the place value of the last digit, okay? Jamika, will you read us the next one? The point seven zero two six five. In words, what does that mean? Seventy thousand four hundred sixty-five hundred dollars. Beautiful. And point zero four one two, Destiny. Four hundred twelve ten thousands. Perfect. So we're going to work on an example. Read two decimal numbers that have non-zero digits on both sides of the decimal point. Okay. So read the numbers, then write them in words. So, Porsche, will you read me A? What does 4165.0162 in words say? Um, four, what do you think? 4165.0162. Four, four, Example 6.1A. I don't see 6.5. We're on example 6.1. Gotta be on the right page for that one. Oh. Okay, example A, 4165.0162. Okay, no longer read, read out of words. Yep, just tell me what that says in words. 165.162.10,000. Good, and 165, say it again. What? 165, 62, whoops. 162.10,000. 10,000, good. And why did they pick ten thousandths? Because it's place. Porsche? Because it's a place. What does that mean? <laughs> it's place value. It's place value of which number? In here, which Six. number were you naming the place value of at the very end there? Um. Huh? Okay, let's figure it out. Whoops. Oh, it's not up there. Which one, the very last word you told me, or hyphenated set of words, was ten thousandths. So when you're talking about ten thousandths, which place value, or which digit up here is in the ten thousandths place? We can figure it out, right? From our decimal, what comes next? What comes oh, next? The decimal? The one is the ten thousandths. Okay, we're gonna figure it out. The two is where the ten thousand. The two. All right. So let's name these spots. What's the zero? What spot is the zero in? Thousand. Careful. Right next to the decimal. What do you have? Ten to the six. Ten. Then. Hundred. Then. Thousand. Then. Ten thousand. Ten thousands. So the two is our ten thousands, right? So we're gonna name the. The last words we're going to say are the last digit of our decimal, okay? So B, come on, we're back to you. For B, will you name me that number? 6.1B. This way been going. Or this been going in a round. Yep. Your turn. 7108000.21578. How do we say that word? That number. Okay. Good. So that hundred thousandths is talking about which digit in that number? Which digit is hundred thousandths? Good. The eight at the very end because we give the name to the last space that we have after the decimal. Okay? I'm just asking you that to reiterate what that space is that we want to make sure we name. Okay? So to write a decimal number using digits and a decimal point, 
Number one, Jamaica, read us number one.